I'd now like to, if I could please, um, call on uh, Mr Jonathan O'Day MP, Chair of the New South Wales Parliamentary Public Accounts Committee. And uh, Jonathan, I'd like you to uh, join us up here on stage because I'm sure you've got some good words of wisdom. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Michael. Dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, ni hao. I have uh, a number of things in common with many of you. Before I entered Parliament, I was a local councillor some years ago, and I also ran a number of businesses. So I understand the local government and also the business imperative of today's forum. However, I want to make three brief comments in three different capacities. Firstly, as a member of the new New South Wales government, led by Barry O'Farrell. Secondly, as a member of this parliament. And thirdly, as a member of the Asia-Pacific Friendship Group within this parliament. Firstly, as a member of the government led by Barry O'Farrell, Premier Barry O'Farrell, we recognise how the relationship between New South Wales and China is the most important trade relationship that we have. We realise that China is the biggest source of international students, as Ken mentioned, that over 15% of tourists, the largest percentage of any country, come from China into New South Wales. And we also recognise the current importance of Chinese culture in Australia, recognised by the Year of Chinese Culture in Australia, which commenced last month. 